YouTube. Feels weird to sit down and talk to a camera like this again. So, after a couple of months of absence, I have decided that it's time to pick up the camera again and start documenting all of the stuff that I do. I used to be very good at this. Everything that I did, I documented. And I thought, in 40 years, it's gonna be so much fun to look back at this. And there's gonna be a lot of people who can learn from this journey as well. Sharing this on the internet, seeing what I do, what I do right, what I do wrong, etc. But for some reason, after some time, I lost motivation entirely. I was focusing on how many views my videos got, how many likes they got, what kind of thumbnails I did, what my titles were. And at the beginning, I didn't care about this at all. I documented simply for myself, and it was for myself only. I had no care in the world how many views, etc., that I got. You can even see this by the titles. If you go back to my first starting a startup videos, it's like, I am building a Flutter app with this widget, starting a startup, episode three. There's no SEO, the title is super long, the thumbnail is just a random picture of me, but it was fun. I liked it, it was fun documenting it. I had so much fun doing it. And it's great to look back at as well because it's so natural and it flows perfectly. And then I got to this place where I was kind of curating what I was doing. I was kind of showing only the cool stuff instead of only the boring stuff or showing everything essentially, which is what I intend to do now. But now, 2024, May, I have decided that it's time to start making these videos again. And I will be doing it a little bit more casual this time. So I have a lot of stuff going on. I have Venture Pals, which you've seen in a couple of videos about before. I have another startup that I'm building for a school platform in the US. I have another Arborist app that I'm building for someone else. And I have developed a home U, it's called Rope Bag for Arborist and Rope Access Workers. And I am running an Arborist e-commerce and physical store called arboristpredicant.se. So I've got quite a lot on my plate and I'm managing this day to day. And I find it fun and I think it's gonna be so much fun to look back at these days, kind of like the transitionary period between trying to make it and making it. And I think that's great. Uh, content to look back at in the future when you get and also great for myself to learn from in the future as well But I was struggling to make an intro for this I was saying I was thinking okay Should I do some kind of sketch of me picking up some old dead YouTube thing or of me finding the camera somewhere? But then I land and I actually did try to make a couple of those before sitting down and doing this and then I figured I should just sit down and explain what I'm doing So there's no gonna not gonna be any fancy intro. No nothing We're just gonna pick up the camera and we're gonna start I have, however, invested a little bit in myself and bought a new camera that I think is gonna be a lot easier to carry around and that it's gonna be a lot easier just for me to make these videos with generally. And we're gonna be testing it out a little bit tonight when we're going to play golf. But first, let's unbox that camera. It's a DJI Osmo Pocket 3 with a creator pack. And we're gonna be getting rid of this camera that you're seeing right now. So let's go do that. Okay, ignore my mess over here, but let's check the new image quality in three, two, one. Okay, interesting. Much wider, that's for sure. But what's cool about this is you can touch these little buttons here and adjust the gimbal accordingly. So that's pretty, pretty sick feature. But now we're gonna charge this bad boy up and then we're gonna go play some golf and we're gonna get back home and we're gonna explain a little bit more about the intentions of this next YouTube series. Let's go. Now there is something really peaceful about golf. You hit the course, you know, you never play well. You just hang out with your friends. If you're doing it alone, it's just it's just a vibe. It's a quiet vibe. And it's, a, it's like one of those things you can never really quite master. So I used to play a lot of football when I was a kid and I got quite good at one point. So I was, you know, applying to colleges. I got some scholarship offers that I turned down for various reasons. <laughs> something one of those things. I would have been a pro if it was for my knee. No, not like that. But. I was quite good at it and then I started playing Sunday League here in Sweden and I realized how bad I am these days compared to when I was younger. And it's really some something really detrimental feeling about going backwards, you know. You know, when I was 16 I was much better than I was now that I'm 24. So you kind of have that feeling. Whereas for, with golf, since I'm relatively new to it, it's only improvement. It's only up. I can only do better and that's why it's such a such a fun fun game to play because you can never master it regardless how good you get regardless of how good of a shot you hit you never master the game and that's the thing too like i can be i'm like a 25 handicap you can be a 25 handicap and at any given point hit like a professional level shot one time but it's about being consistent and that's the thrill that you're kind of chasing you get such a such a nice feeling out of that just thinking that at any point in time I could pull off something amazing. And then you go back to shanking 10 of the 10, 10 balls in the woods at the same time, but 
that's the that's a little bit the feeling of golf. So we're just pulling up to the course now. We're gonna meet my good friend Simon. Simon, his name is in Swedish, and we're gonna play around. It's actually let me switch the camera around. It's actually eight o'clock here in Stockholm, Sweden. As you can see, it's bright as hell. So this is the the benefit of living here in the summer is that the sun never really goes down and. Even now in May, it does so very, very late. So let's have a good round of golf and then another couple of hours of work after. Fucked up on the last one. It is what it is. We take. Uh, I actually played exactly with my handicap this time. Then we'll, maybe we'll play again tomorrow. We'll, we'll see if we can improve ourselves then. But now let's go home and work. Okay, I think we're gonna call it a day there. It's currently 1:10 in the evening, night, morning, whatever you say. And I've been working on this uh, this app that I'm going to be telling you a little bit more about in the future video. I'll give you a little bit of a preview of what I've done. Oh, it's not focusing super well. Let's see. There we go. So here we have a little bit of a preview. Now it's like you have uh, you have different tasks that are assigned to a particular event. And I've managed to build this little layout that we have for all of these individual tasks, depending on the class, uh, etc. So now we're moving on to a task overview, and this is what I've done so far, but we need to uh, to add a little bit more to it uh, for this to be complete, and then we're gonna go get some initial feedback. But fun to be back on YouTube, kind of, and fun to have a new camera as well. I think it worked pretty well when I was out golfing and doing stuff during the day. This was a super exciting video that's gonna be coming more in the future. We have some interesting ones that we're gonna be sharing like my experiences of building a, an app, starting a startup with a, a person from Holland, etc. So we do have quite some exciting content coming up as well as some just follow along the day type of stuff. Uh, but if you have liked these videos before and if you're new to this, if you want to keep on watching, if you like this type of content, then feel free to subscribe down below. It's completely free of charge. It's a bargain. And leave a like and comment depending on what you want to see. Let me know and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.